So welcome back. This is Dan. I'm going to try to make myself a nice little pizza going on here. So I've got the dough, which I just bought from one of my local 7th Avenue pizzerias. And I'm going to just kind of play with it for a bit and spread her on out. Don't really have any specific technique. Just trying to get it pushed around the edges here. For those of you that don't know, Thursday is a traditional pizza night in my family. And for years I've just been bringing in Sicilian, bringing in cheese, bringing in different kinds of topping pizza, but of late I've decided to see if I could do it myself at home. This dough cost me $3.50 and it's spreading out really nicely. You could also, <clears throat> you could also go to Whole Foods and they sell the same dough for about $1.50. So you do save a little bit on cost, plus the benefit of knowing that you're making it yourself. It's kind of a nice feeling. So we're getting pretty close. I'm trying to get all the edges filled out around here. So we got ourselves our dough spread out. I'm going to go ahead and pour some sauce on that. I've only got a half a jar left, but that really should be enough. And then just follow the technique that they use in the pizzerias. Circles. More circles. Don't want to over sauce it. You don't like that pizza that's just sloppy saucy. I do want to make sure I get all the dough covered. Okay. And you could even eat the sauce if you like. That's delicious. I'm going to go ahead and slop some ricotta cheese on it. I have a little trouble spreading it, I have to admit. It's kind of taking the sauce with it. Um, I may just drop some chunks of it on and let it melt on its own. mozzarella on that as well. And you can put any kind of topping on your pizza, obviously. Last time I had some mushrooms on it. Some people like peppers, some people like onions. I'm not a meat eater myself. Well, I am a meat eater, but I do keep somewhat to the, the laws of kosherness, so I don't put meat on my pizza. But I will put some sun-dried tomatoes on it. Smell that? It's nice. adds a nice little spice to it. It's a nice texture. It's really a very short process, I have to say. So here's what it looks like before the oven. Oven is set to 450. I'm going to pop it in for about 15, 20 minutes, and we got ourselves dinner. See how it goes. Okay. okay. Until then, signing off. Cheers.